Hey what is up guys, Jake here and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today I'll be giving you some tips from my experiences doing reference sheets and how you can improve yours for your own characters. So this is a commission that I got to draw one of my friend's characters, which is a Rothgar from Final Fantasy XIV, and the character's name is Shijo. So to start off, whenever you make a reference sheet, doesn't matter what style, doesn't matter what kind of character you're doing, you just want to make sure that you have a very strong foundation. Because anything that you're gonna put on top of it is just gonna crumble if your foundation isn't strong enough. By foundation, that means your proportions, your shapes, basically the general character itself, the base of the character before you add in any detail. You wanna make sure, like I said, that your proportions are correct, that your anatomy is good, that you know, you have the right details, that they're accurate, because you're not trying to make a pretty drawing you're trying to make an accurate drawing which are two very like distinctively different subjects now for me i've been doing reference sheets for quite a while and they're basically the same i just tweak a few things but for the most part they're very similar from drawing to drawing so i like to save time by using a cheat brush for the torsos because it just helps speed up my drawing process a lot it has all the landmarks that I need and I just end up drawing over the whole thing. But at least I don't have to spend time to find the right shoulder width, to have the right proportions, the stomach, and you know, I just have everything that I need and I can work off of it. And another thing I do is if you have any previous drawings that, you know, you have something that you drew and you really like how it draws and you want to, and you think that it could be useful, for the reference sheet, use them. As long as it's, you know, clear and accurate and fits the drawing, just steal that element and add it to the reference sheet and tweak it if you need to, because you're trying to be accurate, but at the same time, you don't want to spend 20 hours on a single hand. If you drew a hand that you know will work in the reference sheet, just use them. That's what I end up doing is I use the hands and the feet most of the time and then a cheat brush for the torso. And then I can actually spend time on the things that, you know, will differ the most, which will be the head and the legs. And sometimes, you know, just tweak things on the torso. Now, the second tip I can give you is to keep your details very clear. When you're making a reference sheet, you don't want to go with full-on rendering, full-on shading and all that stuff because that'll just hide the details that you actually want to portray in the reference sheet. It is meant to be used as a reference for other detailed projects. So if you were to do, for example, like crazy shading, you wouldn't be able to tell some of the details, like they would get lost in the shadows and in the highlights and in the textures and everything. So you want to keep your colors flat, you want to keep everything tidy, you don't want, you know, very loose, uh, sketchy things. You want to make sure that it is easily readable, that you can see details very fine, that you're not struggling to see anything on the character. And if you are, for example, if you have two colors, say like on the head and on the face that are very similar, but are like, you know, indeed different, you can make a close up of the head and point out different details to make sure that whoever you're uh, using that you're commissioning and like sending your reference sheet over that they're not mistaking and that it's clear from the start so any fine detail you want to make sure that you have close-ups of the whole point is to make sure that everything is clear and that everyone at first glance can see everything next up if you're planning to make alternative versions say a clothed and an unclothed version you want to make sure that you keep your layers tidy. So for me, I have a group where the model is nude and another one where they have clothes on top. So I keep the clothes on separate layers and in their own group. So I have, you know, a layer for the cap, the shirt, the pants and the boots, and they're in their own group. And then I have the model itself which is in another group. So I try to keep everything tidy and everything modular so that I can take away and put them back on. It just makes for easier modification if you ever need to change anything in the future. And then lastly, something that I think people will start hating me for repeating in every single video, 
but it is something that I will say until the day I die is use reference. If there is anything that you're having doubts or that you're struggling with, look up a reference. For this model, I was fortunate enough that it was a Final Fantasy, that it was a game model, basically. So I just took the in-game model and I rotated it. I looked at it from different angles. I zoomed in on things and zoomed out. It was just so helpful and so quick to get it done. But if you're not fortunate enough to have, you know, a 3D model of the character you're doing, you can look up pictures of, say, the cap, like an, a realistic cap, and you can try to adapt it in your own style. Or look up a specific piece of clothing, or look up someone else's artwork and try to not copy, because that's illegal, but to take inspiration from it. A reference is useful in any drawing or any project that you're doing, and it will save you so much time and so much stress, and it'll let you focus on the more important things. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on this specific reference sheet, you can find the one hour time lapse as well as a longer breakdown video over on my Patreon. Link in the description. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.